Have you ever uploaded your photos to Tinder only to have them look absolutely horrible, all grainy and terribly rendered? In fact, they look the exact opposite of how I have told you your photos need to look in all of my previous videos. Well, today I'm going to tell you why that happens and how to fix it when it does using completely free software. Keep watching to learn more. So this is a curious effect that I've actually only seen occasionally. Um, I believe it comes down to t this, the load on Tinder's servers. You see, what actually happens is when you upload a photo, any photo onto Tinder, what Tinder actually does is it compresses it um, using its own software. YouTube does the same thing when you upload a video, but it compresses your, your photo using software. It makes it the correct size, the correct resolution, whatever it wants, it applies its own compression to it so that it frees up as much space on its servers as possible. Because if everyone was uploading, you know, three, four, five megabyte images, as opposed to 100 kilobyte images or less, then Tinder servers would get full a thousand times quicker. And that's not really what Tinder wants to have happen. So what I've noticed is that this tend seems to happen in areas and at times of the day when you have the most people using Tinder, or the, most, the highest number of people jumping onto Tinder, signing up for Tinder, all this kind of stuff. So... I don't notice it, for example, here in the Gold Coast where I am right now. I had it a couple of times in Sydney. I had it a couple of times in Chiang Mai. Uh, I had it happen, uh, let me see where else have I had it happen, once in Medellin in Colombia. So in sort of more densely populated cities, it seems to happen more often, but again, not always. But it is avoidable. So why is it happening? Well, the simple answer is if you upload large images it's way more likely to happen. And by large images, what do I mean? Well, when your, when your phone, your mobile phone, if you take a photo with your mobile phone, the image tends to be about two megabytes large, depending on what phone you have. Two megabytes is way larger than a photo needs to be. But they save them at that size on the whole because they want those images to be uh, as high quality as possible. If you take a photo with a really good camera, for example, like I might do, then you'll find those images will be even larger. Again, my camera images can be four, five, six, and if I'm taking raw, 20 megabytes large. So what you need to do is make those photos much smaller so that it's much easier to load on the servers and you'll be far less likely to end up with those grainy images that can last for a few days and really hurt your Tinder ranking. Now, if you're used to using photo software already, I'll tell you right now, go ahead and shrink those images down. You want them to be 100 kilobytes or less. You want them to be 800 pixels by 800 pixels because Tinder's going to crop them anyway. Do Tinder's work for them. Uh, and also, before I go on and show you how to do this for free, if you don't know, if you haven't checked out my free trial for the School of Tinder program that I run, you absolutely owe yourself to go ahead and click the link up here and check that out right now. It's basically a whole program where I show you how to take amazing photos, create incredible profiles, match with women, get dates with women, <laughs> escalate those dates, i show you everything in the Tinder process because I know Tinder can be frustrating. If you don't know what you're doing, how do you get results, how do you compete with the other guys out there, I teach you everything that you need to do step by step. So go ahead and check that out now. But going forwards, let me show you how to crop these images, reduce their size so you don't get the grainy effect. Okay, guys. So what I want to do is direct your attention to a website called photop.com. I'll go ahead and throw a link down in the comments below as well. Basically, Photop is a bit of a Photoshop, an Adobe Photoshop copy. But you don't have, even have to download anything. It's just a website you go to, and you can go ahead and do all your web editing right from here. So what you want to do is go up here to File and Open. So this image that I have here in my downloads, if I grab this image here, it's going to open it. First, it needs to upload it, and then it's going to open it. You'll see this here. This image is way too large. It's about 2 megabytes in size, and, and it's not cropped to the right size. So what you want to do is you want to go over here, first of all, and you want to go to this tool here on the left, which is the rectangle select. So if you click on that, and what that's going to do is it's going to allow you to make a selection. But you'll notice that, you know, the selection could be any size. What you actually want to do is go here where it says free and go down to fixed ratio. And you want this to say one to one. And what that means is the ratio of the height to the width will be one to one. So now I'm making things that are the size of a square. So what you want to do is go ahead and create a square, and that's roughly how I want to frame this image, right? And then what you're going to do is you're going to click Control and C, or Command C if you're on a, uh, a Mac, and then you're going to go to File and New. And then what you're going to do is it will already 
See, it's already populated your width and height. This, these numbers here are actually the number of pixels that my selection was. So it knows that I created a selection. So I'm going to say create, because you don't need to do anything here. And you'll see that this is the original photo. This is the new section it's created. All you need to do is press Control V, allow. And it's going to paste what I copied from the other one straight on here. Now, right now, you have a square image that's the right dimensions. But as you saw with the number of pixels, it is very large. And you actually want it to be 800 by 800. So if you go up here to image, and you can go to image size. And then you go to width, and you're just going to type in 800. Click down in height, and you should see it automatically. Um, it makes it the same ratio. You can go ahead and click OK, and it shrunk your image to the appropriate size. Now, all you need to do is go up here to File, and Export as JPG. And I'll ask you the quality. Bump the quality up to about 75%. That should be just fine. And click Save. So that's downloaded new project.jpg, that file there. Let me have a look and see what size that is. So that file is 56 kilobytes, which is a perfect file. It's a perfect size, and that image looks good. That's what you want to do. If you do that with all your images, you won't have any trouble at all. So essentially, all you're doing is Tinder's work for them. But if you do this, you'll never end up with grainy images, which will really hurt your ranking in the beginning when you most want your photos to be doing well. So do this for your images. Anything that's too large, go ahead and follow this process, and you'll be void of this problem in the future. I hope you've enjoyed this video. It's a little simpler and shorter than some of my others. Don't forget, as always, if you like my channel, don't forget to subscribe and check out some of my other videos. Also, of course, check below for the link to check out the School of Tinder free trial. I'm Damien, have a fantastic week, and I'll see you in my future videos.